Does she have your in a Dixie cup? What the hell is that? No, I'm just not believing this part. That could have been one of the best Dr. Phil episodes I've ever seen. <laughs> that was crazy. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Nina. <laughs> Hey, don't knock my drink over. He'll be in trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Go say hi. Hi, baby. I love you. You got stinky breath. You got stinky breath. It's today we're going to watch a Dr. Phil episode together. What? I love you. Cupa. Good girl. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a reaction video done if you're just trying to get my attention the whole time. I love you. Today we're taking a look at this husband and wife whose house is an absolute disaster and so is their marriage and every other facet of their life. This place has just been horrific. What a shit show. It's an absolute pigsty. These clothes have been here for years. This Christmas tree has been up for probably about four or five years. That's depressing, man. The fun thing about Christmas is it only happens once a year. <laughs> the tree comes out and all the decorations, but if you're looking at it all year long, Nina's gonna start crying. That's how depressing it is. Weeks ago, and the pan's still here. Most of these dishes are... Okay, so this guy's going through his, his whole house, complaining about the mess. It's your house, man. If you have such a problem with it, do something about it, man. Months ago, you see them stacked up. This island sink has a bowl in there and the stuff is molded. It's a nice place too. Like if you look at it past, if you look past the filth, it's a nice home. It's just ruined by all this mess. That looks disgusting, dude. We're in my youngest daughter's room. Oh my God, it looks like a crime scene. Trash, stained floor. It kind of looks like you just have too much junk. Like, just throw some stuff away. All these bags came from my daughter's room within the last couple of days because she knew the Dr. Phil show was coming here. So what, she just moved her trash to another room? <laughs> There's food everywhere. This is another piece. That's terrible, man. There's no way to live. I'm very clean and organized, and this drives me crazy. Christy weighs in on this, and she says, look, Ernest has no room to criticize her housekeeping because it doesn't matter anyone has the right to criticize that level of housekeeping because it's zero there's, there's no house to be kept it's a pigsty i'm not trying to push anyone's agenda on you but jordan peterson kind of does a thing called uh clean your room and it's like a base point of your life like if your room is clean it's a starting point for you to like feel accomplished in something like something is good and neat and you can start spreading that into other areas of your life. So, so lady, clean your room. My husband Ernie has been emotionally, verbally, and financially abusive for years. You are a sick person. You're abusive. That's so lame. She's like just throwing insults at him. This is like, this is like a teenage argument. You are a sick person. No, you. You are, Christy. You're abusive. Ernie will have you believe that I had some kind of financial crisis and that he had to come in and take over. That is not what happened. <gasps> Tell us what happened, Christy. I can't wait. Because I care so much about your financial situation. The reason I handle the money is because Christy is incapable. Of <laughs> what can Christy do, honestly? <laughs> credit card debt and that was because Ernie had to have brain surgery and oh I think I'm getting a migraine just looking at that Christy ran the credit cards up again to $82,000 he decided I had to file for bankruptcy Ernie told me I would still have access to our checking account but he tricked me <laughs> but he tricked me <laughs> but he tricked me yeah, it sounds like you shouldn't have access to it. You seem like a very irresponsible person. I got 
had a job, and as soon as I started getting a paycheck, Ernie stopped buying my food and gas. You're a grown ass woman, buy your own food and gas. Our house is like a war zone. Shocker, they also have parenting issues. Cleaning the house is not Christy's thing either. The house is just like a- You don't say. Bottles, clothes everywhere. I started taking videos years ago. Today is May. How about you put the camera down and start cleaning yourself, dude? If you all band together, you can clean the house together. It'll be a great bonding exercise. Cause it, you need an army to clean this place. And you got four people right there. Like that's a good start. It's like they're just shifting the blame back and forth and like no one's taking responsibility. It's childish. Three months ago, Ernie had not made a house paint. This voice is like nails on a chalkboard. I'm sorry. I'm just calling it as I see it. It's, it's hurting me. But our marriage can't be saved. We absolutely have to save our house. Why does that make sense? Why would you save your house over your marriage? It sounds like your marriage has already failed. I got to I got to tell you to just to be real honest straight up mm -hmm. front. We wouldn't straight up be here if you didn't have two daughters. Yeah. And both of you are acting like immature children. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Everybody kind of works out a division of labor. You're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to do Yeah, that. it's divided between I do nothing and you do nothing. So it's it's split pretty evenly actually. I'm in charge. I have to do everything because Ernie. What do you mean you have to do everything? You don't do anything. You don't have to do anything because you don't do anything. And I'm, I'm, I am so overwhelmed. Yikes, dude. So nobody's doing it. Right, because the little bit <laughs> that gets done, I do. What do you do? <laughs> where, where, show me the little bit that. Well, because nobody's doing anything. Nobody's cleaning this house. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're singing the same tune here. I'm living like a single mom. What? You're not, though. You're married with two kids. Why would you live like a single mom? And I'm pretty sure a single mom would actually clean up after herself. You have to do nothing all by yourself? Oh no, you poor thing. When I get home from work, with, I have hypothyroidism. I suffer from fatigue issues. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Excuses, dude. I have lazy bitchism. I went full roast Malone there. My mother had hyperthyroidism. She raised three children and took care of her husband and took care of the house. <laughs> What's your excuse? And you gave us a list of reasons that you're not taking care of the inside. <laughs> Those little quotes. Reasons. 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 <laughs> you said Einstein, he was a genius and didn't clean up around here. What? What does being a genius have to do with cleaning? You kind of sound like a dumbass. <laughs> I'm being mean, dude. I'm just in a, a mood, I guess. Right? I did, I, what I said is that Einstein had a, lived it, you know, was not organized. You can't even form a sentence and you're comparing yourself to a guy who came up with the theory of special relativity. <laughs> I, I really struggle with organization. I really do. I have a difficult time. What don't you struggle with? Holy shit, the, f the wheels are falling off the struggle bus at this point. Are you trying to justify this? No, I'm just trying to explain why it looks like <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing. Whoosh. This is your daughter's room. Yes. And behind that door is a bathroom. She can't go through that door because of all the trash, so they leave the hall light on so she can go at night. Yeah, I got eyes. Room. You can't get in the bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah, I got eyes. Dude, he's so sassy at his age. He doesn't have time for it. <laughs> you can't get through the door. Yes, sir. Okay, and this is the oldest girl's room. No, that, there's the uh, dining room. Oh, the, who the hell, hell called the playroom. Tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful kitchen here. Beautiful counters, lots of space and light and cabinets and double sinks and everything. Man, dude, he knows a good kitchen when he sees it. Double sinks and lights and counter, whoa, cabinets. So I've been recording for like 15 minutes and I had to lock Nina out of the room because she's been a spaz. So I'm gonna let her back in. You're missing big girl. I give you all the attention, you still cry, cry, cry. Are raising these two children in this home. You two are adults, and you have a beautiful home. 
that that you have built here. What the hell is the matter with you people? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. That's why we're here, Dr. Bill. I, you know, I need help. What do you need, a maid? You know, learn how to use your two hands? You're not owning it. You're giving me excuses. No, I'm not. I, I, yeah, you are. <laughs> build the whole wall with the excuses you're giving me. Yeah, don't tell Trump. He'll try to build that wall with her excuses. It'll probably be about as sturdy as the wall he did build. <laughs> what do it's you say to yourselves every morning when you wake up and walk through this? You are a... <laughs> I know what they say to themselves when they wake up and they see all this mess in their house. Fuck it. <laughs> if Child Protective Services sees this, they will take these children out of this home immediately. That's my biggest fear. Well, he... Well, apparently it's not that big of a fear if you're not going to do anything about it. Girls have never had play dates or anything at the house. You, well, the you house think you would want to bring a yeah. friend to this home? I mean, <laughs> you imagine going over to your friend's house for a sleepover and you're like, do I sleep on that trash pile or that pile of dirty clothes? The house has not always been like that. And oh, come on. Stop saying that. <laughs> Pop off, Phil. This is turning to Jerry Springer. Are you serious? He's getting rowdy, dude. Ratings. Get those ratings up, Phil. Lose your shit. What I'm trying to say, Dr. Phil, is that Ernie is never... You're not... You're not... Listen, you're not hearing this part. <laughs> no, I'm just not believing this part. What? He's actually losing it. He's getting wild. I feel like from when I started doing Dr. Phil videos to now, it's just, he's just gotten so much more outrageous. This to happen, you have allowed your house to get this way? Does she have your in a Dixie cup? What the hell? <laughs> What? What? Hold up. Your house to get this way? Does she have your in a Dixie cup? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. You gotta man up and take control here. Dude, he's a superstar right now. You are letting your daughters grow up in this squalor. You are a better man than that. Nothing's wrong. You have wrong. not tried to get me any help. Well, I <sighs> this girl just like, she's like, a monkey in a cage, and he's like a monkey in another cage, and they're just like throwing shit at each other. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle any more of this. That was insane. That could have been one of the best Dr. Phil episodes I've ever seen. <laughs> that was crazy. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. I love making them. Love making you guys laugh. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.